batteries. An invention that supplies us with a lot of power today. Any modern electronics you use today, there is some sort of battery in there. Things like laptops, smartphone, tablets, and a whole lot of different things. And the biggest ones just came around, and that's the electric car. It's good to know that inside some satellites, there are batteries as well. Since the invention of batteries, the more we moved forward, the more advanced batteries became. But still to this day, we're not that advanced and we're not at the sweet spot yet. You might say we have very advanced batteries and we don't need any more better ones. But scientists continue working on new styles of battery to make them last longer and longer. The newest design for future batteries is called the diamond batteries. Some scientists believe that diamond batteries are the future and it's gonna be a revolution once they figure it out. And they believe once you charge a diamond battery, it will continue working for thousands of years. It kinda seems unbelievable. Is it even possible for a battery to hold charge for that long? Right now, the most advanced batteries we have available to us are lithium ion battery. Right now, you most likely have a device that uses this type of battery because cell phones use them, laptops use them, power tools need them, and also new electric cars use lithium ion batteries. Lithium ion basically replaced lead acid batteries, but nowadays, these batteries are used in a lot of different places. Even though lithium ion batteries are the most advanced batteries available, it's still not the sweet spot yet. One of its biggest problems is that it needs safety sensors. And these sensors are engineered to make the battery not fully charge too much or make the battery go dead for too long. If it doesn't have these sensors, the battery will fail fairly quickly. Because of all these sensors and components, it makes the battery more expensive and heavier. And once it gets to the end of its life, recycling all this junk becomes a problem. Another huge problem is that the end of its life is always predicted. Like for example, based on the quality of that lithium ion battery, you could charge this battery about 500 to 1000 times before it goes out. And after that, it's basically not usable anymore. It either has to be repaired or replaced. The reason you see electric cars running driving without any problems, it's because they're very new. We have to wait and see what happens when these cars start to fail and there's a whole lot of bad batteries. Lithium ion batteries are not cheap at all. Like for example, a Tesla Model 3, which costs about $50,000, one third of that price is just a battery. When you buy a high quality power tool, like a Milwaukee drill, the battery is made from lithium ion. And that battery is more expensive than the tool itself usually. So it can't be considered a cheap battery. We have to figure out a way for the prices of these batteries to come down. It's because of the price of these batteries that the cheapest electric car in the US is very similar to a luxury car in the US. Another thing you should know is that lithium ion batteries don't like to be fully charged and it doesn't like it for you to run out either. And that is why it's recommended to remove it from the charger before it hits 100% and charge it around 10%. To make your battery life last longer, you should charge and discharge it like this. If you've seen this video on our channel, you know that these problems aren't the only issues with lithium ion batteries. One of those, it's enslaving children in the Congo on cobalt mines. And another reason is that to produce these electric cars, you cause more pollution than building a gas car. 
A gas car has a lot of emissions, but for an electric car to be built causes a lot of emissions. And there is another way it could cause more pollution, and that's when the battery retires and enters the landfill. So this was the best battery we have available to us, and it has a lot of issues with it. So let's see what the diamond battery has in store for us. To talk about this technology, just like other types of technology, we have to go to Silicon Valley, NDB company to be exact, which stands for Nano Diamond Battery. Even though it's called a diamond battery, they don't actually use real diamonds to build this battery. They use artificial diamonds. They claim something weird as well. They say if this battery enters production, it will hold charge for 28,000 years. 100 years seems like eternity, let alone thousands of years. NDB says the way this battery holds charge for so long is that they charge them themselves and they call it self-charging. This battery basically can charge itself for 28,000 years straight. This idea was originally thought out from Professor Tom Scott from the University of Bristol. Professor Scott said in 2006, if we can build a battery with artificial diamonds, this battery will be able to charge itself, and in theory, it will never need a recharge in our lifetime. Professor Tom Scott even ran a test on this type of battery. He basically exposed artificial diamonds to carbon-14, which is a nuclear waste, and it actually held charge. And it's good to know that carbon-14 is a nuclear power plant waste and there's plenty of it. Running a test like this wasn't done by just anybody. It was done at the University of Bristol with Professor Tom Scott's team. So you can't just go get some carbon-14 and artificial diamonds and create your own batteries. Carbon-14 is a highly radioactive material and you can't just handle it yourself. After this test, a lot of scientists like the idea of this battery. And the reason is that carbon-14 is a nuclear waste and has to be kept in nuclear containers. So how are the diamonds put inside this battery? In this case, the diamond has to be cut to little sheets, basically like foil, and be set up in layers. The case of the battery has to be made out of titanium, so no radioactive material exits it. Right now, this item is being experimented, and the first machine they want to use it on is a hard pacer that goes inside the body, and it never runs out of battery. The case of this battery has to be so strong that it does not get damaged in an explosion. Obviously, it can get damaged to hits and heat. You might be asking, why are they building such a dangerous type of battery that could damage everybody? The reason they're working on such a project is that the world is moving forward. And nowadays, we need batteries that could last a very long time. And the more advanced these batteries get, the more impressive they will get. Like for example, you could put it on a machine like this, and a lot of other vehicles. Scientists believe that lithium ion batteries don't really have a future, and we have to look for an alternative. It seems really scary, doesn't it? A battery that has nuclear waste inside it. It wants to take over the world of energy and it could hold its charge for 28,000 years. It could be acceptable in one way, is that since day one, the battery should be one side and one shape. So the new machines that are being built year after year don't need a new battery. So we have to throw away this nuclear battery just to buy another one that could last up to 28,000 years. <laughs>